another disturbed individual. We gotta take him out, but remember, stun only. I would not have it any other way. Are you sure you want to touch that guy? A mind meld is our only option. Anything? I have never encountered this before. His mind has been corrupted. Also, I now know the code to that door. Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Aye, sir. Everything all right? Yeah, just some Vulcan problems. Captain, I am detecting several Vulcans behind this door, but their readings are erratic. May I suggest setting our phasers to stun? After all, they are Vulcans. <laughs> Find the Ciroc guy and get the hell out of here. Officer. Quickly. Come in. Fascinating. Scan's picking something up. Interesting. Fix your shield, Spock! Osavensu. Spock. Sirak, I am relieved to see you unharmed. This is my commanding officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirak. Pleasure. And Tamar? I am here, Father. Tamar, I am pleased to hear your voice. Now what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerged from the rip not long after it appeared. What creatures? We have only been able to decipher that they call themselves the Gorn. Spock, we cannot allow the power of the Helios machine to fall into their hands. It would be catastrophic. How would they be after the machine? They could use it to create rips anywhere in the universe. They would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's deepest labs. I have secured all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? I can open the fire door that leads further into the labs. After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Your guidance is all we ask. Then I advise caution. There are likely to be more infected Vulcans up ahead. Got it. Shields are fully in spot.
approaching a disabled door. We'll force it open. Your success is unlikely. The structure of this door is designed for containment. It may be possible to restore power using a spare power cell. I will mark the location of the power cells on your tricorders. Quietly and maintain a low profile, we should avoid detection. Captain, if you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood. Don't let them see you. us can get behind that guy and take it off before he notices? Most certainly, our Starfleet training. Dr. McCoy, have you been able to ascertain the nature of the Vulcan's infection? There seems to be high toxic levels. Origins unknown, but we'll continue to investigate. Bones? You're breaking up. I can't hear you. Keep underground. Lost them. It appears we are now completely on our own. We'll follow your lead, Captain. Thank <laughs> you. 
this way, Captain. Captain, this access hatch may prove useful. Shield Spock! Back up, Spock!
The same toxin we found in the fallen Vulcans, but they do not appear to be infected. They must be the host. You think? This way. Captain. Shit. We gotta get that device back. Tamar, do you know where they went? Difficult to tell, but it appears that they are taking it towards the surface. <sighs> we'll never catch them. Captain, if I restore power to the turbo lift, we may be able to intercept them. Do it. Power has been restored. You may proceed to the turbo lift. Enterprise, come in. Scotty, check off. Respond. You will have a difficult time communicating with your crew, Captain. When the Helios device is out of its containment cell, it causes a great deal of interference. Ah, perfect. Looks like it's just you and me, Spock. That seems to be the usual course. Weapon, Captain. It would be to our advantage if you picked up that weapon.
interesting result. Scan complete. Commander, help me open this. Just need to get this door open. Interesting. I need your help with this door. Let me some of that Vulcan strength to get this door open. Water is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. I believe that water is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get zapped. Seems simple enough. Indeed. Water is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get sad. Seems simple enough. Indeed. Ah! Uh, oh. is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get zapped. Seems simple enough. Indeed. Kirk, Spock, something has happened to my father. I think the Gorn... Of 
taken Sirach. Where is he? We'll get him back. No, the Helios machine must be your top priority. Sirach would not have us save him, only to put the entire galaxy in danger. Tamar, what's the status of the device? They've nearly reached the surface. Damn it, we need to move faster. Cells. Where are we going to find another power cell? Perhaps we can retrieve a power cell from a functional socket. Captain, I think I see a power cell in that laboratory. Need a hand here, Spock. <laughs> Help me up, sir. I require your help here, Captain. I am in need of a boost. Doors open, let's get moving. Faith in the Helios. 
Leo's device remains strong, but recent tests indicate that our grand experiment will not proceed as easily as we had hoped. The construction of the device is almost complete and ahead of schedule. The assistance provided by Commodore Daniels of Starfleet has been invaluable. And yet, we have detected anomalies that we are unable to explain.
Thanks for the assist. Captain! the nearest medical facility. There is a medical facility nearby. I will mark it on your tricorder. Uh, uh. Think you could pick up the pace, Spock? The sooner we get you to the med bay, the sooner we can heal that leg. You should hurry. I'm detecting more Gorn approaching your location. Uh, there's a gurney over there. More creatures are approaching your position. Captain, I will not be able to repair your leg and hold off these creatures at the same time. Just fix my leg, Spock. I'll hold them off. Enjoying this, aren't you? I assure you that I am not. This may ah, damn it hurt. I believe you should now be able to stand. Good as new. Let's get out of here. Captain, we must find a way outside. I am on my way to your location. It is too dangerous. Stay where you are. Is that understood? Tamar! I would assume that she has disobeyed your request, Captain. Not surprised. She is Vulcan.
get this door open. Spock, Kirk, this way. These Gorn have completely infested our colony. Prepare torpedoes, fire on my mark. Love you, Captain, but I can't even see a thing down there. I'm gonna need a little help. Then we'll paint you a target. I sir. Mr. Scott, need I remind you that the situation is critical. Time is of the essence. Scotty, energize! Full power, Mr. Sulu. We need to disable that ship. Aye, sir. Captain, the enemy ships are almost in range. Lieutenant Uhura, open hailing frequencies. No response, sir. I don't feel like talking anymore. Zulu, check off. Prepare to engage hostiles. Aye, aye. Yes, sir. Captain, sensors indicate a Vulcan life sign on the larger enemy ship. It is Sirak. Captain, I would advise a more cautious approach. Noted. Enemy fighters within range, Captain. Captain, enemy ships changing course. They're heading towards us. Phaser banks fully charged, Captain. Ready when you are. Hold weapons, fire only on my mark. Fighters approaching in three, two, one. Fire! ship is out there taking shots at us. I recommend focusing all weapon fire on its vital points, Captain. I'm seeing a dramatic increase in enemy counts. Then let's get this over with. Indeed.
be engaging in some kind of suicide mission. Scotty, damage report. Assessing damage, but at first peak, she seems to be holding together, sir. But I don't know how much more of this she can take. Jeez, oh, you bastard! Sulu, check off. Make sure none of them get through. Fighters destroyed, we should easily overtake the remaining vessels, Captain. Hold your fire, Sulu. Take us to full impulse and bring us within transporter range. Uhura, hail the lead ship. Tell them they're about to be boarded. I said, hold your fire! Captain, it's within us. If I didn't know any better, I'd say they were firing on their own ships. They are creating a debris field with their own people. In torpedo range, sir. Target their engines. Just want that ship disabled. There's too much debris. We can't line up the shot. Then you'll have to do it manually. This should be interesting. <laughs>
Cora, get me Starfleet Command. Sulu, set a pursuit course. We're going after them? Full impulse power, Sulu. Aye, aye, sir. Jim, sick bay is overflowing. We need to get these people to the nearest star base immediately. Sir, the rip is interfering with communications. I can't hail command. Wait, so your plan is to go through a compressing tear in the fabric of space to chase a vicious alien race that we don't know anything about, except they now have a doomsday device, and we can't even call for backup? Perhaps the doctor is right. If we were to fail in our pursuit, Starfleet would know nothing of our fate. Entering the rip in two minutes, Captain. We really don't even know what's on the other side, Jim. Power down, Mr. Sulu. Commodore Daniels operates a starbase nearby. He could offer additional support. Daniels? Really? Kinda hate that guy. While I agree with your assessment of his character, Captain, he may be our only option. Tomorrow we will get your father back, I promise. I appreciate your compassion, Captain. But we must focus our energies on retrieving the Helios machine. If the Gorn learn to harness its power... That isn't gonna happen. Sulu, pilot the Enterprise back to New Vulcan. Search for any other survivors and bring them back to this base as soon as you can. Aye, aye, sir. Lieutenant, energize. We need to observe quarantine procedures. We have no idea what we're dealing with here. 